Namaste students. In the last class, we have studied the determinant of order 2. Right? Now today, we are going to study some of the problems under order 2. Okay? Now see, here it is given determinant of these elements. Right? This is of order 2. Right? Okay. Now we have to find out this. I have told you how to find the determinant of order 2 in the last class. How it is this, the cross multiplication like this, right? First we have to cross multiply these two elements. That is 4 into 5, 20. Minus, I told you, in between negative sign. Into these two we have to multiply, right? 20 minus, in between minus sign, 2 into minus 1, which is minus 2. So minus of this, this minus is of our method, right? This minus 2 we got because of this multiplication. So this is equal to 20 minus of minus plus 2, right? So it is 20. This is the value of the determinant of the given determinant, right? Okay. Now the same way we have to find out this. Now see, the same way. 4 minus 4 into minus 2, which is plus 8, right? Okay. Minus in between minus 8. Then we have to cross multiply these two, right? So it is 9 into 1 plus 9, right? So it is 8 minus 9, which is minus 1. So this is the determinant value of this given determinant, okay? Now, the same way we have solved the same type of problem in the last class. So here, solve for x. For this determinant, they have given this is equal to 0. So we have to find the value of x. Okay. Now, how do we find the value of x? First, we have to cross multiply this because this is the determinant. Same way we have to find the determinant of order 2. Then we have to solve. Right? Okay. Now, x into x, which is x square. Right? Minus sign in between. Then, 12 into 3, 36. Is equal to 0, we have given. Right? Okay. Now, we have to calculate this. How? x square is equal to 36. When you move this that side, it will become plus 36. What about x? x is equal to plus or minus 6. Right? x, x square is equal to 36. Gives x is equal to plus or minus 6. Right? Because when you square these two numbers, plus 6 and minus 6, you will get 36. Right? So the value of x is either plus 6 or minus 6. Okay, so these type of problems are very important for one marks in the exam. Okay, now this if you know properly, then only we can study the determinant of our order 3. Because the same way we have to find, but the elements, this comes under there also. Okay, because if you know this properly, then only you can find the determinant of order 3. Now let us move on to Hope we are clear with the determinant of order 2. Now let us move on to the determinant of order 3. Means here we are taking a 3 cross 3 matrix and we are finding the value of the determinant. Okay. Now I have considered a 3 cross 3 matrix A with general matrix. How we write? A11, first row, first column, first row, second column element, first row, third column element. Likewise, capital 3 cross 3 matrix here. Now, how to find the determinant of that matrix is, let me first write how the determinant of that matrix can be written. Okay. Now, how to write the determinant of that particular matrix like this. A, 1, 3. I told you. Matrix means close brackets. When it comes to determinants, we have to write the elements between two vertical lines. Right. Okay. Now, I'll write the determinant form of the general matrix of order 3 A32, A33. So between vertical lines, this represents determinant, right? Okay, now the calculation. Here, the calculation you should remember properly because order 3, mat matrix of order 3 is very important for finding the inverse because in finding the inverse we are using the determinant of order 3 most of the time see matrix there is one method called matrix method which which will study further okay in that we are going to find out inverse of the given matrix 
where to find inverse determinant of that particular matrix is very important finding the determinant because it is one part of that inverse okay finding inverse finding the determinant of the given matrix is one part of it okay so we should know the determinant of order 3 because for matrix method they will ask the question for order 3 not for order 2 so order 3 is very important okay now see to find the determinant of order 3 it is not that there is only one method you can go for any see this is row 1 right this is row 2 this is row 3 so we can find the determinant of this particular matrix sorry determinant along row 1 also, along row 2 also, along row 3 also. Similarly, we can perform along column 1 also, column 2 also, column 3 also. Okay. So, there are 6 different types of finding determinant of this particular determinant. Okay. But, most of the time, we go for this row for practice because if you are practiced with only one, you don't get confused. Okay. If you are very familiar, then only we suggest you to go for any other. Okay. But most of the time, we perform along row 1. Okay. You make a practice of performing this along row 1. If you are very confident, then only you go for any other. Okay. Now, I tell you how to find out the determinant of this particular determinant along row 1 and this is very important exam point of view this you should remember properly ok now let's start with finding determinant I told you I'll tell you how to find out along row 1 right ok now see before going for finding determinant of you we have to fix the sign rate. Okay. Suppose if I want to find a long row 1, then I have to fix the sign. And you should be very careful when you fix the sign. Okay. Always remember whatever might be the elements here, whether it is positive, negative, doesn't matter. Okay. Always remember here it is plus, here it is minus and here it is plus for row 1 only. Okay. So beginning with plus sign, then alternative sign you have to put. Okay, now I am just telling you how to calculate this determinant value along row 1. Okay, now I told you first we have to fix the sign. Okay, now first one plus only, right? So plus a11, right? So it is plus a11. If you want, you can write. Since it is plus, no need to write. Okay, if you write also, it is not wrong. Plus a11. Now, you have to delete the row containing A11 and the column containing A11. Okay. Plus A11 I have taken and I now I have to delete the row containing A11 and the column containing A11. So, if I delete that, what do I get? I get A22, A23, A32, A33. This is of order 2, right? This determinant is of order 2. I have to write that remaining second order determinant, right? This is of determinant of order 2. Done? This is with plus A11, okay? I have, I will repeat again, plus A11 into I have to delete the row containing A11 and the column containing A11. Then what determinant of order 2 I get that I have to write multiplied to that A11. Okay. Now let us move on to the second element which is A12. What sign is there? Minus in there. Right. So it is minus A12 into again the determinant of order 2. How? Same way. This element I am taking now, right? So, I have to delete the row containing that element and the column containing that element. Okay? So, 
I have to delete the row containing A12. This is a row. And I have to delete the column containing that. This is a column containing that. This one. So I have to delete the row containing A12 and the column containing A12. And what do I get? I get the determinant of order 2 with these elements. Right? So I have to multiply the determinant of order 2 with the remaining elements. That is A21, A23. Position is very important. Same position you have to take here. And this will be that side. Okay? Then A31. And here it is A33. Done? Okay. Now second element we finished. Now we have to move on to the third element here in the row. One. Okay? Now see which side is there. Plus A13. Right? So it is plus A13 into I know. Now also I get the determinant of order 2. How? By deleting the row containing a13 and the column containing a13, right? So I am choosing this element now, right? Plus a13. So what I have to do now? I have to delete the row containing a13 and the column containing a13. If I delete that, what do I get? I get the determinant of order 2, right? What are the elements here? a21, a22, a31, a3, right? So I write that here. A21, A22, A31, A3. Right? Done? So this is how we have to find out the determinant of order 3. But along row 1, this is only along row 1. Now we have to solve this, right? A11. I don't consider because plus sign is there. Not required, right? And here, you already know how to find the determinant of order 2, right? Okay, how to find out that? A22 into A33 minus, same way, how we have found out determinant of order 2. Same way, you have to find out here. A22 into A33 minus sign in between, right? Then, I have to multiply these two elements. A32 into A23. Okay, so this is done. Now minus a12 is there. So as it is added, minus a12 into what is that? Again, determinant of order 2, right? How to find out? a21 into a33 minus, I told you, minus sign in between, right? a31 into a23. Okay, that is done. Now move on to this. Plus a13 into what is it? Again, determinant of order 2, right? So you have to multiply like this. So it is a21 into a32 minus a31 into a22. Yes, now again I will tell you from the beginning how to find the value of the determinant of order 3. Okay? Now listen carefully. See, if I have to write the determinant in between vertical lines, right? Now, starting with the determinant, I told you, we have to fix the sign first. Always you perform along row 1. It is better. Okay? Only one case is there, I will tell you how. Okay? Now see, along row 1, if I have to perform the determinant of order 3, then I have to fix the sign first. Always this is fixed, whatever might be the elements here. Okay? Whether this is plus for example, plus 2, minus 2, whatever. Okay? Still, this is plus only. Okay? Then you have to multiply that if it is negative. Then plus, minus, plus. You have to fix the sign first. First step is fixing the sign along whichever row you are performing or whichever column you are performing. Okay? Then, then I have to start with this element. Plus A11 into, I have to delete the row containing A11 and the column containing A11. Then what I get? The determinant of order, these elements will remain. So, I have to write the determinant of these elements. This is determinant of order 2. Then, that is done. With this, I have to delete. Then, I have to write the determinant, remaining determinant. Right? Okay. Then, I have to move on to the second element. Minus A12. Then, A12 into, what I have to do? I have to delete the row containing A12 and the column containing A12. 
then what elements will remain its determinant i have to write then i have to move on to the third element plus a13 then what i have to do i have to delete the row containing a13 and the column containing a13 then remaining determinant of order 2 i have to write then as you a11 into this determinant value i have to find out already we have studied of order 2 right that way you have to perform this into this minus this into this right minus a12 as it is again perform the determinant of order 2 this into this minus this into this right then plus a13 into a21 into a32 minus these two you have to multiply okay this gives the determinant of order 3 along with the row 1 okay now suppose if i am interested in column 1 okay i will just tell you how to find out along column 1 okay now suppose i have to perform along column 1 then how this will be taken what i have explained is along row 1 right suppose there are different ways means it is not that you have to perform only one way right some might be liking to do along row 1 some may feel like i have to do along column 1 so it is not that always along row 1 you have to perform column 1 also you can do Now, see, suppose I told you along row 1 how to perform the determinant of order 3, right? Now, suppose if I have to go along column 1, okay? Then, again, first step remains the same. You have to fix the sign, okay? Okay. Now, fix the sign. I told you always, first element it is plus along row 1 and column 1 only, okay? Here it is plus because when we performed row 1, I told you this is plus. So, obviously, this will be plus only. Whether it is row 1 or column 1, first element is plus here. Okay? Then, I told you alternative signs. Right? If it is plus here, because row 1 already performed there, it was plus. So, it doesn't change. It will be as it is. Plus, it was here. Now, here it is minus. I told you alternative sign. Right? Okay, now, third one will be plus. So, plus, minus, plus. So, first step is to fix the sign. Okay? Now, I have to perform this same way as we have done in row 1, okay? What we did here? We have taken first element, then deleted that row and column, remaining determinant we have written, then went to the second element, then again delete that row and column, remaining element determinant you have to write, then go to the third element, then you have to delete the row containing that and column containing that, then remaining elements you have to write as second order, right? Same way we have to perform this also. So, now, plus a11, right? Now, let me write plus here, since it is positive. Plus a11 uh, into, what I have to do? I have to write the determinant of order 2. How? I have to delete the row containing a11 and the column containing a11, right? What is remaining? This determinant is remaining, right? So, I have to write that determinant. Determinant of A22, A23, A32, A33. Right? Understood? Now let us go to the second element. First element, deleting row, column over, remaining we have written. Now go to the second element, which is at minus A21. Right? Now what we have to do? We have to delete the row containing A21 and the column containing A21. Right? So I will delete the row containing A21. And the column containing A21, what will remain? A12, A13, A32, A33, right? That determinant we have to write here. So it is A12, I told you this row and this column we have to delete. What is remaining? A12, A13, A32, A33. Done? Now, second element, we have multiplied with the order 2 determinant. Now, we have to go to the third element, right? What is that? Plus 3, A31, right? Now, determinant of order 2, how? We have to delete the row containing A31 
and the column containing a three one. So what is remaining? These four elements are remaining. So I write the determinant of those elements. So it is a one two, a one three, a two two, a two three. Okay. Now as you know, you have to write a one one into order two. How to find? A two two into a three three minus a three two into a two three. Then minus a two one as it is into again order of two. A one two into a three three minus a three two into a one three plus a three one into a one two into a two three minus a two two into a one three as it is. Okay, as we have performed in the previous case. Now see, this is along row one and column one. Now I told you along row two also you can do, row three also you can do, and column two, column three also you can perform. But how the sign can be fixed? Okay. See, I told you here it is minus, here it is plus because already we have learned along row one and along column one this is fixed always. Okay. Whatever row or column you choose, these signs will be fixed. Now. Suppose if I want to perform along row two, okay? Then how sign can be fixed? See, already this is minus. I cannot change this. Whatever row or whatever column I choose, this particular element I have to multiply minus it because this is fixed here. Then what might be the sign here? Here I told you alternative plus or minus signs. So here it is minus means here it is plus. Here it is again minus, right? Then here it is plus means here it will be negative and here it is positive. So fixing the sign is like this. Along whatever row or whatever column you want, like that you have to fix the sign. Suppose I told you. Suppose if I have to find out along row two, then I have to fix the sign only in the row two, right? No worries. I just told you. If However, you are going to perform. Likewise, you have to fix the sign. Now, suppose I have to perform the determinant along value of the determinant along row two. Then I have to fix the sign only for row two. No worries. Okay. Now see, I have fixed the sign. This doesn't change anywhere. Here, if it is the element is negative, also this doesn't change. Okay. This will be negative only. But when you multiply negative with negative sign, you get positive. That's it. Okay. But this sign. Doesn't depend on the element you are taken here or elements given here. This is always fixed. Okay, for row two. Now see, I'll just tell you how to perform a long row two. Okay. Now the method remains the same. Okay, but only signs will be different. Now see. If I have to perform with along row two, then minus a two one I have to write first. Minus a two one, right? Minus a two one into. Then what I have to do? I have to delete the row containing a two one and the column containing a two one, right? This row and this column I have to delete because I am taking this element. Its row and column I have to delete to respond. Right? What is remaining? Determinant of these four elements, right? So it is a one two, a one three, a three two, a three three. Done. Now first element we finished. Now we have to move on to the second element. What sign is there? Plus a two two. The same way. Now determinant of order two we have to get. But from where? I have to delete the row containing a two two. And the column containing a two two to get the remaining determinant, right? Hello. See what is the remaining determinant? If I delete the row containing a two two, row containing a two two, and the column containing a two two, then what do I get? This this element, this element, and this element. That particular determinant I write a one one, a one three, a three one. A three three. Then, then with the second element I finish. Now to go to the third element. What sign is there? Minus sign with a two three into. Now again determinant of order two. 
right which is that this element the row containing this element and the column containing that element i have to delete right so if i delete the row containing a23 and the column containing a23 i get a11 a12 a31 a33 right now this is of order 2 you can perform how we have done in the previous cases in column 1 along row 1 how we have done like that we have to solve this also okay hope this is clear now i just explain you along column 2 and similarly you have to follow the remaining row 3 and column 3 okay that i want to explain you i just tell you along column 2 how it is performed and i don't write and show i just explain it orally okay because this idea you should have most of the times we will perform the determinant value along row 1 or column 1 most of the times we do it along row 1 only okay if the number of zeros in some of the cases if the number of zeros are more or we perform the value of the determinant along where the row or the column where the zeros are there okay where zero elements are zeros that particular row or column we prefer most of the times okay but always we suggest you to perform the operations along row 1 okay now i told you column 2 and just explain now see along column 2 what sign we have fixed here i told you here it was plus so here it is obviously minus if it is minus here i am not bothered about other elements i am performing along column along column 2 means i just bother about this so if here it is you start from here plus see this right minus then what about this plus this is minus right now see how to perform you write minus a12 into determinant of a21 a23 a31 a33 right then plus a22 then it is this row and this column we have delete right so we get a11 a13 a31 a33 that determinant you have to write then minus a32 that column and that row you have to delete what is remaining the determinant of a11 a13 a21 a23 okay then you have to perform uh, that you have to simplify okay so this is along column 2 like that along column 3 or second do along row 3 or second do accordingly first you have to fix the sign along whichever row or whichever column you are doing okay hope this is understood and let us study some of the problems under this okay to make the concept clear now let us do one problem so that you will understand that clearly okay i told you most of the times we perform along row 1 right so what i have to do the first step is i have fixed the sign so along row 1 means i have fixed the sign right so it is plus here minus here and plus here right now along row 1 only any one of the methods you can follow okay either row 1 column 1 row 2 any one any one not all okay now along row 1 i have to perform and i will have to find out the value of this determinant okay i told you plus into 1 sorry plus 1 so it is 1 into what determinant that row and column i have to delete so i write the determinant of this so it is 1 Minus four zero minus two. Then this is done. Now we have to go to the second element. Minus into plus two, which is minus two into again the determinant. What determinant? That row and that column you have to delete. So what is remaining? Three minus four one minus two. And then go to the third element. Plus into minus one is minus one. So plus is there here. But you have to multiply it with this element, so plus into minus minus, so it is minus one into again that row and column you have to delete. What is remaining? Three one 
one zero, right? Now same way, second order, we have to find out one as it is. This element we have to multiply here. This is of order two, right? One into minus two, minus two, minus different thing. Zero into minus four, zero. So as it is, minus two as it is. Now again we have to perform the determinant of order two. Three into minus two, minus six. Then minus sign in between. One into minus four, minus four. So minus of minus plus four. You can directly write no problem. Minus one into this three into zero zero minus in between one into one one. Now simplify this. This is equal to one into minus two. So directly you can write this is minus two minus two into what is this? Minus six plus four. So you get minus two. Minus two into minus two plus four, right? Then minus one into this is minus one. Minus one into minus one plus one. So this is five minus two, which is three. So this is the value of the given determinant. Same way. See if you perform the determinant along column one, column two, column three, or row two, row three doesn't matter. Answer will be the same. Okay. Only in the fixing the sign. Allow accordingly. You have to do and perform same. Okay. But the value you get along row one, row two, whatever performance perform uh, you perform, the value of the determinant doesn't change. Okay.